In this lesson we're going to take a look at how to import static assets. So let's just create new directory in our project. We're gonna use the following path source assets img and here we're going to move our image javascript.svg and now let's try to import this image in our main javascript file. So I'm going to add an import statement and let's just reference that file that was previously moved within img folder with the name javascript.svg. And just to see how Vite is going to handle such image import, we're going to print value of this image URL variable in a console. And as we can see, Vite has given us full pass to that image. So when our browser requested our main JavaScript file, we see that the import of our image was transformed a little bit by adding import query parameter to the end of this pass. And once browser has made another request to fetch this file, we can see that Vit has given us valid ECMAScript module with the default export, which points to that image in our project. So basically this ECMAScript module returns pass to their exported image. And of course that pass was assigned to image URL variable, which we have printed in a console. And now we can do with this pass whatever we like. For example, let's add a new element image into our HTML file with an ID of image. And then from the JavaScript code, we're going to get an image by using getElementById method. And then we can assign that pass to source attribute. So the image will be displayed in the browser. And as we can see, it worked. And in a browser DevTools, source attribute contains pass of the exported image. And of course, that image is shown on the page. So once again, when we have imported our image in the main JavaScript file, the path to this image was saved into image URL variable. And then we used this variable to assign to source attribute of image element. And this way image was displayed on the page. And besides importing images like this, we can also import other file types, for example, JSON file. Let's try an example. Here I'm going to import JSON file from the assets folder. And within this path, I'm also going to include URL query param, like so. And now let's see what this param URL is used for. We're gonna print this URL in a console, switch over to the browser. And right here, when our browser has requested JSON file by the following address, instead of exporting JSON object, as we have seen in one of the previous lessons, by adding URL query param to this path, Vit has transformed exported JSON file into valid ECMAScript module with the default export, which actually points to imported file. But what if while importing images, we can receive content of an image instead of the pass to this image? So in such cases, we can use another query param called row, like so. And in this case, instead of giving us URL to this image within image URL variable, Vit will return the content of the file javascript.svg. And we can see this content was printed in a console. So in terms of transformations, if we take a look at javascript.svg request here, we see that David has transformed the requested file pass into valid ECMAScript module, where default export is the whole content of this image. So in this lesson, we have taken a look how to import static assets such as images into JavaScript files. And additionally, we have also taken a look at a few query parameters we can use while importing static assets, such as URL and row.